this is a new 20.3 megapixel NX200. So this is how it looks like. You can put a bunch of lenses on it. There's this lens. There's one like this. Or there's uh, maybe one like that. We have all kinds of different lenses on here. And uh, I don't know how it performs compared to a DSLR. But I guess this is a new trend of the flat kind of DSLR hybrid thing where it's uh, there's no reflex I get uh, what's called a, there's no uh, mirror inside I guess it's just doing stuff digitally now and it's flat and up here you have a slot so you can uh, you can add some light, uh, whatever light flash thing up here you can go and zoom in some out you want to review your stuff you can go in play mode and um, is it touch screen or not? maybe not so what do we have here on this side? we have the battery we have the uh, autofocus manual on this one IFN is a new thing I think they promote that. They have IFN in every different lens. Some so what does the IFN do? If I go back in record mode. So if I push the IFN button, which is here. I don't know what happens. But you can uh, read you can you can do a bunch of things here. And professionals should probably review it and do some uh, testings at the church. All the different modes are going on here. What is magic? Magic frame. Not a scene movie. So that's it. You scroll through all these modes, and you have some outputs here. Mini HDMI, mic for USB. That's is that your next camera? Maybe. Here at the IFA 2011 in Berlin. Allow me to introduce the new Samsung NX200, our flagship product for 2011, and the premier compact system camera on the market today. A 20.3 megapixel APS-C size sensor lies at the very heart of the NX200's performance. The wide camera's wide range of ISO of 100 up to 12,800 means you can capture sharp details and lifelike colour even when shooting in low light or capturing moving targets. The NX200 also boasts high speed capture. The advanced autofocus system captures your image quickly and accurately. And with the 7 frames per second continuous shooting, it's the perfect way to capture split-second action. 